What's up everybody, Yojiki here, and welcome back to what is hopefully the conclusion of Limbo, our Limbo playthrough. Um, for some reason, it's not showing up here, so that's cool. Love, I love having technical difficulties right at the beginning. There we go. All right, so uh, this is going to be hopefully the conclusion of Limbo. I feel like we got pretty far last time uh, on our on our first first stream of Limbo, and I anticipate uh, we're going to finish it tonight. Um, kind of planned the streams that way at least. We, the only information we're going based on, because again, this is a blind playthrough, so I don't actually know uh, what to expect. But um, I, I went off How Long to Beat, uh, which is a really cool website that I, I like to use that just uh, tells me kind of the uh, uh, an estimated time to beat a game so I can kind of plan streams that way. Uh, this one we should finish up today. Fingers crossed if we don't get stuck on a puzzle for a while. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it and, and see. I'm excited to see how this, how this game is going to end. It's been very interesting so far. So let's, uh, let's try and remember where we were. Ah, right. Okay. So this one, I was thinking about this as I got off uh, stream last time because that uh, we don't have enough time. So I was thinking maybe if I just hop over here and then push it and just keep pushing it back. That gives me maybe a little extra time. And then I can climb up here. Can I climb the the question is can I climb up here without Doesn't look like I can climb up. So I can push this, but I can't climb up here without Ah, I wonder if I can push it and it kind of rolls back. So if I do this, it gives a little momentum to push and then it delays for a second while I'm pushing it. Perfect. All right, we figured it out, cool. So I was thinking about it as I got off stream last time uh, and I was like, there's gotta be some way that I can push that. It seems like the momentum to push it uh, did a little bit. So this is one of these electric things it seems like. But it's also gonna gonna rotate, right? Oh geez. Well, this just got terrifying. That ball is gonna roll on, roll on me. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Well, how was I supposed to know that there was a ladder there? We're gonna get hit by this ball. Okay, I didn't know there was a ladder there, so now we know, and we should be able to jump from that. So instead of, you know, instead of going down the thing. There we go. So we can run this way. Nope. Oh, I did it again. I almost did it again. There we go. There's electricity there that we want to probably try and avoid. Kind of looks like there's a uh, jump up here. There we go. Okay, this, so that rotated all the way around. I don't think that there's anything for us to jump up here. But there is something. But you can't really... T I can't really tell what's up here. And over on top of here is darkness. So I don't know if that is what we're supposed to do. I'm thinking maybe instead of trying to jump there, we just pull this block into the light. And maybe if we drop it down, it won't explode. Nice. And then I just... <laughs> really? It brings me all the way back here. Okay, well, we know what we're doing now, at least. It's just... I'm, it's user error at this point. It's not, it's not gameplay. 
It's my inability to execute what I want to do. Alright. So we should be able to make this jump. So now we can pull this block. And hopefully not fail this easy jump here anymore. I wonder if I can like jump back here. Oh no, I did it again. I, I can't believe it. I'm just gonna have to lower myself down on top of the box instead of trying to make a jump for it. These these easy puzzles shouldn't shouldn't get me. Basically, it's like the execution of it. I do like the atmosphere here though during this puzzle. The music like really kicks in for it. I almost didn't make that. So as we found, you can't really stand on this. Uh, on this ledge, so you do need to jump to the platform. Though we were right in, in, I think we're right in execution here, but it's slightly slanted, which means it, uh, it falls down. Oh my gosh, I did it again. The impatience is, is killing me here. Because I'm not sure if I have to jump onto the box before it moves, or if I have to lower myself down. This is like five times too many times. You guys are probably all like, I can't believe it's taken you this long to do this this uh, this puzzle. This one particular room, or whatever, whatever it's called. Room puzzle? I don't know. I know what I'm supposed to do though, clearly. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of executing it. Let's go ahead and try the method where we drop this down, let it settle, and then maybe lower ourselves down. Is it if that's even possible? There you go. Okay, we can't get that back up there, so we're gonna look for traps this time. So I definitely don't want to hit any traps. This looks like something. It looks like there's like a water or a laser or something. It it, it almost kind of looks like there's like a like a gun. Yep. I was right. So now we've got guns implemented. Cool. I think dropping down there isn't going to do anything. This thing looks like it moves, this one. So I wonder if I could be like I was kind of having hoping I could have it uh, destroy the other one. Oh, it is going to do that. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we did, we, we figured this one out pretty, pretty simple. So that one's still gonna move. Nice. Check for bear traps and all this stuff. I don't know what is up with Limbo here. Like, I was trying to check the synopsis of the game because we kind of just jumped into it and I, I didn't know what, what we were doing. And apparently from what, what the Steam page says, it's something like it's a boy's quest to find his sister who's stuck in limbo or something. So I think that that is the girl that we saw in the last episode that we almost got to, but then couldn't reach. So here's, here's a couple boxes. And we'll see what this does. 
Interesting. Okay. So it looks like we need to get one of these up here somehow. And this doesn't go anywhere. But there is a ladder up here that we could potentially get to. So I wonder if this one we do push. I wonder if I'm going to have to pull this one, actually. Because if I pull this... quite see what happens if I push both of them there how far do they go kind of don't go that far it's almost like I need I need to ride one of these up I feel no. Interesting. I don't think there's enough time for me to stand on top of one of them and push the other one. Yeah, not enough time for me to grab that. Yeah, and it looks like it doesn't matter if it is pressed down for a long period of time. It's just that initial... initial one. So, oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. So this is something like we're going to have to... Push this up here, jump this way, jump on here. And then, and then lift up here. Okay, cool. We got it. So this, we're going to push all the way over here to the side. So it has the most opportunity to go up the ramp. And then this one, we are going to get all the way over here. In fact, I'm going to have to have to ride this over and push it up. So then this one, we're going to run and jump over this. Jump on top of here. Going to lift up and then we're going to need to catch this. Or push it back up after it drops. That's a really clever puzzle. I like that. And then we'll jump up here. Okay, so that's that first part. Now, there was a ladder that went down. I'm not sure why. Oh, it looks like we'll probably need the other box as well. For something. Or we can climb up. Can we climb up? Oh. Oh. Interesting. I guess that makes sense because that's that's the only way for us to be able to get get back up, maybe in time. Huh, there's a so that raises that up. Interesting. So we don't have enough time to race over to do this. But we need to somehow get this probably... The question then becomes, what, what do we need the second box for? I don't think we need the second box for anything. 
We just need to activate that. Because the second box, we wouldn't be able to get up here anyway. So we need a way to get up here. Maybe we use the second box like normal in this suspended thing. And then there's going to be something that we can do up top. So I think, yeah, we're going to we're going to set this timer. It's essentially a timer. That's basically what we're doing. And then we're going to climb up the ladder and then see what we can access besides like what what is, what is there to grab onto maybe? Ah, the box. Nice. <laughs> of course that would hit me. Oh my gosh. Of course that would hit me. That's that's my luck with limbo like now is just boxes falling when I'm trying to do a puzzle and it crushing my head. The thing is like once we know how to do it, it still it doesn't take that long to actually execute. It's just the actual execution of it that that we're failing with. So this will go ahead and push up here. If only we could execute that last room as fast as this once we know how to do it. There we go. Then this we need to push over here. It's going to be interesting because it's going to also raise the box up, which is, I guess, is good because we need to do that. Thank God we didn't break our legs there. That would have been just my luck. Like <laughs> our character would have brought, broken his legs just jumping off this ladder. Okay, so let's go here. There we go. We almost didn't jump off that in time. All right, now we got another up-down lever and what appears to... Just trying to observe this for now. Okay, it looks like we need to... Jump up here. There is another... Um gun that we need to probably have shoot this box you guys can see the gun right above me here so uh we're gonna have we're gonna activate this and then get it to shoot nice then that gun's gonna be extended all the way i don't know where we need this box for but i i figure we need it ah uh, is this gonna block it does. Okay. So it's a good thing we had this box then, because uh, otherwise that gun would have shot us. That second gun is going to shoot, though. There we go. Ooh. Okay. We'll, we'll probably need this for something. Looks like we need to go down. So that right here looks like as far as it's going to go down. Perfect. Perfect. 
Oh, rip. I misjudged that. Apparently we need... We're going to have to push it onto the second one in order to do that. And then we're going to have to land on top of... So it's going to retract all the way in, which is going to be unfortunate. Which means that we really have to time it so that when it's out... Now, how are we going to make that? I'm trying to think about this one here. Because as soon as I activate this, it's going to flip over. I guess let's just see how it behaves. Because we don't have enough time. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough time to do this. So if I use this to jump up here, pretty sure it needs to be on the, it needs to be on the second one as well, because I don't have enough jump height to, to jump on that. So that means what I'm going to have to do, unless there's another box somewhere, there might be another box somewhere. If there's not another box, what I have to do is I have to flip this upside down, the box, and then I need to somehow get the box to land on top of that while also landing myself on top of it. There's got to be another box somewhere because I don't think... You know, if I... I actually need this box, otherwise I can't. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if there's a box this way. Yeah, I wonder if there's one this way. Oh, I'm trying to use my noodle here. Yeah, we need the box for that though. So I'm thinking what what's what's occurring is we need two boxes. So we're going to use this first one. We're going to push it all the way and then see if it'll let us get over to the other side maybe. It's pretty trippy. Hopefully my face isn't covering up most of this cuz I wasn't expecting it to be on the top here, but Basically, all I'm doing is going to push it towards this uh, big mountain. Which I think you can see the big mountain come up. There you can. I don't know if there's actually a box or anything here. Uh, okay. Okay. Good talk. I'm going to put this box back here, drop it down, and go exploring the other side first. The only reason why I have the box here is so I can use it to block against this laser or this machine gun, because otherwise I would not be good. I'm going to use the box here and see if this will help me. I could be wrong. Well, that worked at least. I don't think I can make that jump, though. Oh, I can. Oh. Interesting. Aha! There is another box.
Okay, so that box is there. So now... I'm going to have to find a way to reverse it. So now that I've got that box down, that's going to kill me, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Thank God. I thought that was going to kill me. <laughs> this is actually one of the most... I think this one is the longest, most in intricate puzzle that we've come to. Because it's not just in one room. It's kind of... Or it is kind of one room, but it's, it's multi-parts. So this we should be able to flip up. We'll move that just so we don't lose it. And I don't know if I actually need the other box to get this one. So weird. The other box isn't going to let me... I, I'm so confused at this point. Because we did pull the other box down, right? We pulled the other box down. I wonder if there's something I was missing. And the box is still there. So if my theory is correct, like... In doing the upside down should have put it onto this le like ledge, right? I wonder if I can use the the gravity of it sliding down and hop it over. Oh, I think I, I think I've got this. Okay, I don't know if this is actually how you're supposed to solve it, but I think it is. This is hard. This, this one's less about, like, solving it, more about the execution of it. I'm almost, like, curious if I'm actually on the right track or... Oh my gosh, that was so close. It's probably killing you guys like either I'm doing it right or like I, I had the right solution I'm just doing it wrong or this is not the right solution at all and I'm wasting time and it's probably killing you guys either way but I feel like it got really close so
Trying to see based on the sledge. When is the best? Ah, oh, it's almost there. So for some context, all I'm doing is is activating this up and down. Very close. God, it's so close. It like dead stops there. Dude, that's so close. What the heck? There we go. Yes. High five chat. We did it. Okay, cool. Now, the question is, if I flip this, is this going to... No, it only flips this section. Okay, that's a bummer. But, if I have this here, it should, in theory, when I f invert everything, it should invert onto this uh, ledge that's up here and be fine. That's that's my theory, at least. So let's go ahead and pull this. Oop. I feel like we've almost got this solved. Oops, did not mean to activate that. That's cool. We're good. Okay, we're going to hop up here. Hopefully inverting this is going to be exactly what we need. I wonder if there's some like speed run strategy or something in order to invert that and somehow land on it. It seems like there would. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love it when our plans actually work. Like it doesn't happen all the time on this channel, especially. So now this one can go here. This one can go here. Yeah. Come on. Come. Really game. Really game. We almost had it. Again, this is just user error execution. Go ahead and push this here. Up, up. That hair. There we go. Boom. We did a chat. What is this sound now? It sounds like a bird. Oh, we got more gravity puzzles. 
cool. That's activating something. Okay. Interesting. So it doesn't hold it in place that way. I feel like there's not enough time. There's a certain sequence to this one, so that will hold it in place, but it doesn't hold it in place down. Because we need to get to the right is basically what we need to do here. So if I turn that on. Then I turn that that does nothing. So we can climb up here. And that doesn't get us anywhere. Ah, right, we can walk this way, though. OK, so that changes the things a bit, so. Interesting. Unfortunately, this appears to be the only way to get up while you're doing this. And you can't activate this. Huh. I don't think there's anything back here that I could use. It's all in this room. So basically the only thing the only two things that I can manipulate are these two puzzles or these two electro fields but they raise the things at the same time. And I need to get up to the right. If I do this, it locks both of those in place. Even if I go over here. It looks like there's space to stand here. That doesn't really matter. Because as soon as I deactivate this. I can't climb back up here. This 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 only holds it in place. It doesn't hold it down. So even if I activate this here.
and flip that, it'll flip both of them. Hmm. I'm going to see real quick. I'm going to see if, if, if I'm right. I have no idea what we would even um, be considered on. Like, what chap? What chapter are we considered? Okay, so this one Ah, uh, this one's a timing based thing. Okay. So the only hint that I needed for this one in that it, like the only hint I looked up for this just because I don't want to be stuck here the whole time is that it, you have to turn the magnet on to magnetize the ceiling which we did and you turn the gravity switch on until the first block hits the ceiling then turn it off real fast before the second block reaches the ceiling which means that the first block will be magnetized but the second block will not so that's what we're missing is the timing so, these are both down, and that makes sense a little bit because, but the thing is, like, it doesn't make as much sense because you can't actually see the second block, which is a little unfortunate. So there, boom. That's all we needed to do for that. I kind of wish that we were able to see the second block because that would have made more sense. So, anyway. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, this is reverses stuff. Neat. Okay. Looks like if I reverse this, something's going to come up the line. Yep. And it looks like it's something that I can hang by. So if I do this. Okay, I had the right idea here. Basically, we need to I need to have it have momentum coming up here and then stop it so that it continues momentum and I can run towards it. So it's very similar to the other puzzle where I need to need to time it. So here should continue momentum up. Nice. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. Well, I wasn't I wasn't prepared to do that. I can actually hit the switch on uh Didn't time that right. <sighs> Barely made that. We're definitely going to get electrocuted here. I'm really surprised we didn't get electrocuted there. Here's an O. Is this gonna chase us? Like, maybe not. Oh, here's another inverted thing.
Okay. I don't know. I don't get this one. <laughs> so we can't jump down. This makes sense if we pull it. I think we need to, I think we need to push it and climb and then get over the, the saw. I think that's what we need to do. That's gonna be really fast to do. All right, let's try it. Nope. That's really difficult. And the box is right there too. I wonder if I climb over it and then push it instead of pull it. So it's a little bit further. Okay, I have the right idea, I think. So what I need to do first is I need to activate this because the box starts so close to us, we don't have enough time to uh, pull it all the way. Okay, so now it's further, so I should be able to jump and have enough time to push the box and climb up. Nice. Oh, interesting. So I need to time this here. With the music or the sound. So we need to go. Almost. Okay, we have the timing right. I'll explain what I'm doing after this if you guys don't understand. Ba basically, I'm listening for a sound cue right now. So we made it past the first part. Now we need to get to the underside of this, I think. And run. So we're gonna have to jump. Interesting. Man, this is a really cool part. Of, this is a really cool puzzle.
Okay, we're gonna try and get over this. Looks like we're not gonna be able to run to the right super far, but there's a there's like a lever up here. So we're gonna have to invert it. Now this is trippy. Hey, that's electrocuted. So it looks like we need to jump off of this and flip it. Almost. We need to overshoot it, I think. <sighs> this is really cool. Oh my gosh, we did it. We got past that. That's a really cool puzzle. Wait, is that it? Wait. I can't control my character. This is very mysterious. Still can't move. Trying to see if I can go back for any of this stuff. Oh, this is very, very atmospheric. I have no idea what's going on. Oh. That her sister or whoever? I really hope they don't jump scare me here. They're not gonna show it? Oh, dang. Okay, wow. What a very mysterious ending to that. Wow. That was well done. Like, that's that's great. For a 10 year old game that I, I, had, I didn't play, this this game stands up really well. Like it's it's very, very cool. I'm kind of sad that they didn't make like a second one using similar things because at the end, like some of the puzzles, like th that those gravity based puzzles that I was really focusing on most of the time when I get really focused like that or really quiet, it's because the, the puzzles are doing really good and like they're really making me think And that those ending puzzles are really good. We got we got stuck on a couple of timing based puzzles. I think I think one thing that's really good, too, is like the puzzles were difficult, but we only really had to look up how to do things maybe like twice or like twice throughout the entire thing. And that's a pretty good testament to that because 
the the things that we were stuck on we only needed really hints like do a certain order like it requires a certain order or something but everything else we were able to figure out so wow <sighs> what a really cool game i i enjoyed that quite a bit the beginning there were some really sufficiently creepy parts of the game um and i think that that is you know a testament of the spook factor of it but it also is like a very intriguing mysterious puzzle game and i really enjoyed that so i hope you guys enjoyed it as well that was really awesome so that's gonna be it for limbo um if you guys are new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by uh we we stream on on twitch and mixer uh, at the same time twitch is, is mostly where the uh, the chat is going to come from so if you guys want to check me out on there that'd be great and uh, also on youtube yeah youtube.com slash eojiki you guys may be watching this on youtube um stop by the stream sometime or whatever uh, next week uh continuing spooktober we are going to be playing inside so if you guys did like this game i heard that inside is very similar or it's by the same people or something like that so um should be pretty cool the uh, we'll play another mysterious spooky sort of game like that and then the week after that we're going to be playing little nightmares which is also going to be a very like platformer type puzzle game um that is going to be ramping up the spook factor for us because I've seen clips of that game and that game looks uh, scary. But uh, again, I know nothing about these two games that are coming up, just like I didn't know anything about Limbo and I thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week and a great night. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.